Welcome to Next Level Tech. Cruise ships are lovely to look at and most people dream of cruising on them someday. Have you ever imagined how these great and sometimes very huge ships are manufactured? In today's video, we look at the process of manufacturing cruise ships. If you're yet to subscribe to this channel, please do so immediately to avoid missing our future videos. Let's go there. Spectrum of the Seas Spectrum of the Seas was the first Quantum Ultra class cruise ship built by Mayer Werf at its shipyard in Papenburg, Germany, for Royal Caribbean International. The first steel was cut in August 2017, marking the start of construction of the cruise ship. A keel laying ceremony was held in November 2017. The Spectrum of the Seas design and features. The Spectrum of the Seas will be the biggest and the most expensive cruise ship to sail in Asia. It features the Royal Caribbean's first private enclave for suite guests, new stateroom categories, and innovative dining concepts. The ship house a range of guest venues such as an outdoor pool, two indoor pools, a body and mind spa, a fitness center, a rock climbing wall, a sports court, a splashaway bay, and an outdoor movie screen. With a length of 347.16M, breadth of 41.4M, and gross registered tonnage of 168,666T, the vessel cruises at a speed of 22K. It had the capacity to accommodate 5,622 passengers in 2,137 staterooms, which is available in different configurations based on passenger requirements. The passengers are be served by 1,551 international crew members. The ship feature a total of 16 decks, which will include 14 passenger decks. It will be equipped with 17 elevators for guests to use. Accommodation facilities. Spectrum of the Seas feature ultra-luxurious private suite enclave comprising golden and silver suite accommodation situated at the forward section. The area have special keycard access, a private elevator, and a separate restaurant and lounge, along with other exclusive amenities. The other main attraction of the cruise ship is the two-level, 2,809 feet ultimate family suite, which accommodate up to 11 guests. It have one master bed. German shipbuilder Mayer Werft has floated out the world's first LNG-powered cruise ship from its covered construction dock in Papenburg. AID Innova is the first cruise ship worldwide to run 100% on liquefied natural gas LNG. The use of this lower emission fuel significantly reduces pollution. AID Innova was financed by KFW IPEX Bank and built at Mayer Werf Shipyard in Papenburg, Germany. Mayer Werf has a worldwide reputation as a specialist for the construction of modern and sophisticated cruise ships. With around 3,500 employees, Mayer is one of the largest employers in the region. ZDF filmed the construction of the state-of-the-art cruise liner and gives a look behind the scenes of the long-established Mayer Shipyard. Around 200 tons of paint and over 1,700 kilometers of wiring went into the construction of AID Adiva, and around 36,000 light bulbs ensure a pleasant glow around the ocean liner. Around 27,500 square meters of carpet were laid across 13 decks, which is roughly the size of four football pitches. AID Adiva is made of 55 steel blocks, each one weighing around 450 tons. The shell alone came in at just under 25,000 tons. Guests can enjoy a beautiful sea view as they relax in the spa or unwind on the sun deck with three pools. AID Adiva has 1,025 staterooms. Some of the suites even have their own jacuzzi. The middle of the ship features the theatrium, a place for guests to relax as they watch breathtaking shows and concerts. Before the ship was handed over, Ada Nova had proven its seaworthiness during three sea trials on the North Sea when many technical and nautical systems were successfully put to the test. The engine room unit with the modern power station supplying energy for all the ship and hotel operations was made at Neptun Wharf in Warnemund. The four very low emission dual fuel engines can run 100% on LNG both at sea and in port. Building the Spirit of Discovery Spirit of Discovery is a 58,250 GT cruise ship operating for Saga Cruises, 
Built by Mayor Wurf, the ship was delivered on 24 June 2019 and began operations on 10 July 2019. Upon delivery, she became Saga's first ever new build ship. She is Saga's largest ship to ever operate in its history, a title she will share with her sister ship, Spirit of Adventure, after she is delivered in October 2020. On 29 March 2017, the ship's name was announced as Spirit of Discovery on 1 March 2018. The first deal was cut for Spirit of Discovery at Mayor Wurf. Construction officially began with her keel laying and coin ceremonies on 28 June 2018. On 12 May 2019, she was floated out and later completed her conveyance across the river rooms on 26 May 2019 to begin her sea trials in the North Sea. Spirit of Discovery houses several specialty restaurants, a theater, and fitness and wellness facilities, features not included on the fleet's previous vessels. Additionally, Saga designed Spirit of Discovery for an all-inclusive cruising experience in which the cost of the cruise covers expenses incurred from beverages, gratuities, specialty dining, room service, internet access, and local chauffeur services. Spirit of Discovery also offers 100 passenger cabins designed for solo travelers and employs 523 crew members. The cruise ships boast an elegant blue hull and an extraordinary interior and exterior design. It can accommodate 999 passengers and is designed for people over the age of 50 with all the necessary facilities. A sophisticated atmosphere can be found on decks, featuring a theater, library, golf simulator, and small pool areas. In addition to various stylish bars and restaurants, the Saga ship also houses a gym, a spa area, and every stateroom has its very own balcony. The cruise is characterized by eco-friendly and resource-saving design and appropriate facilities for the older generations. Norwegian Bliss. Norwegian Bliss is the 11th cruise ship constructed by Mayer Wharf for Norwegian Cruise Line. It's part of the Breakaway Plus class. Norwegian Bliss is a cruise ship for Norwegian Cruise Line, which entered service on 21 April 2018. The ship was built by Mayer Wharf in Papenburg, Germany. The ship had a schedule of debuting in Alaska, United States in June 2018, and is designed for improved energy efficiency to meet Alaska's environmental regulations. A Norwegian Bliss has an overall length of 333.5 meters, molded beam 41.50 meters, and maximum draft 9.00 meters. The ship has gross tonnage of 168,020 GT and dead weight of 11,700 DWT. Norwegian Bliss has 20 decks and 2,220 cabins and can carry 4,000 passengers. The hull art for Norwegian Bliss was designed by marine wildlife artist Robert Wyland. Wyland is best known for his Whaling Wall murals in which he painted life-sized whales on 100 buildings all over the world. The Norwegian Bliss sailed on her inaugural cruise on 21 April 2018. Norwegian Bliss sailed on Mexican Riviera cruises from Los Angeles, California and cruises from Miami, Florida for her 2018 winter spring season. For her 2019 to 2020 winter season, Norwegian Bliss sailed out from Manhattan, New York replacing her sister ship Norwegian Escape, which moved back to Miami. Norwegian Bliss will sail to the Bahamas in eastern Florida as well as longer cruises to the Caribbean before repositioning to Seattle to resume cruising around Alaska in the summer of 2020. The propulsion system is two ABB Azipod XO units with total power of 40 MW, which allows service speed of 22.5 knots, 41.7 kilometers per hour, while the maximum speed during trials exceeds 25.0 knots. The ship was delivered to NCL on 21 April 2018 when the CEOs of NCL Andy Stewart signed the ship documents where Norwegian Cruise Line's holdings limited to possession of the ship and started her inaugural voyage later on in the day. Harmony of the Seas Harmony of the Seas is an Oasis-class cruise ship built by STX France at the Chanters de l'Atlantique shipyard in Saint-Nazaire, France, for Royal Caribbean International, with a gross tonnage of 226,963 GT. She is the second largest passenger ship in the world, surpassing her older sister's Oasis of the Seas and Allure of the Seas, but surpassed by her newer sister Symphony of the Seas. In length, however, Harmony of the Seas is the longest cruise ship in the world. Harmony of the Seas has 2,747 staterooms of various sizes to accommodate, at double occupancy, 5,479 guests. The ship is divided into seven neighborhoods, including Central Park and Boardwalk, like her Oasis class sisters. Harmony of the Seas has a number of water-based attractions including a large dry slide complex, two surf simulators and 23 swimming pools. It also has the first water slides on a Royal Caribbean ship. She also has 20 dining venues, a 1,400-seat theater, and 11,252 works of art. 
Harmony of the Seas is 20% more energy efficient than her sister ship's Oasis of the Seas and Allure of the Seas. Small air bubbles from the keel reduce drag and thus fuel consumption by 7-8%, to and a smooth hull surface further reduces resistance. The bubble system also reduces propeller noise and is used on celebrity reflection in Quantum of the Seas. LEDs and fluorescent lamps replace incandescent light bulbs, reducing power consumption and need for air conditioning. The engine system uses a waste heat recovery system and drives three Azipod propellers. Harmony of the Seas is named after the Harmony module on the International Space Station. The vessel was floated out on 19 June 2015, began her first sea trials on 10 March 2016, and was delivered to Royal Caribbean on 12 May 2016. After a construction time of 32 months, the ship first set sail on 50 May 2016 from the SDX France docks in Saint Nazaire, viewed by some 70,000 people. Her first destination was Southampton, England, although her home port was Barcelona until 23 October 2016 when she crossed the Atlantic. Harmony of the Seas took two short preview cruises, three nights to Cherbourg and four nights to Rotterdam. After reaching port in Southampton on 17 May during these voyages, passengers complained of ongoing construction, a lack of hot water, unopened attractions, excessive waits at restaurants, and other issues. The ship's maiden voyage departed from Southampton on 29 May and arrived at its summer home port of Barcelona on 5 June. According to passengers on this cruise, construction had finished and the ship was ready to sail. For the inaugural season, Harmony of the Seas offered seven-night Western Mediterranean cruises originating from Barcelona and Civitavia. On November 10, 2016, the vessel was officially christened by her godmother, Miami-Dade County teacher Brittany Fulter.